Hello everybody on YouTube, Luigi1810 here, and welcome to um, a Mario Kart Tour video. Yeah, you guys probably didn't know I even played this game. And guess what? I've been playing since launch. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I'm not here to talk about my collection, I'm here to talk about this pipe. In celebration of the new year, the appearance rate for the high ends has been raised at 12% and a bunch of Mario variants. But well, let's see if they are worth it. Now, as you can see, I pulled, like, I pulled, um, I pulled already. I got Chef Mario and Halloween Mario. Uh, but we're going to talk about if they're worth it or not. So, Akama Mario. Uh, coin mox, very good item, very good, like the best item in the game. So we have um two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, seventeen. If you get them to level six, maximum. Granted, there are city tracks, of course. There are mm, mm, okay, that's two, four, five. Okay, there's five city tracks. Now, granted, granted they. Probably will come back, so, you know, you, if you have, like, Mario Akama, then you will, obviously, you know, be good on those, like, curses, courses. Alright. But City Tracks do take away the value. But Mario Akama, definitely a very, very good character. Very good. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to mention, I actually already have a Hoppy Mario. Um, Hoppy Mario, Bob and Cannon, uh, not really that great. Uh, Bob and Cannon Plus, no, that's actually really good. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention uh, Mario Kama. If you get them, if you have like coin box plus, right coins will spit out, and you, they will give you more points. But we're not talking about Kama Mario anymore. We're talking about Happy Mario. So you have a uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, seventeen again, again. Now again, there is city tracks, and now um. Now, there's only four this time, but that will also take away the value. But you will, if you have Mario Hoppy at a really good high, at a really good level, then obviously you will be, you know, ready for those city tracks when they do come back. So, um, not as good, but it's still decent. Then, uh, here's Classic Mario. Again, a character I already have. Triple Mushrooms? Uh, that's, that's very good. But, is his value any good? Well, yes, actually. Um, if you take away the London tracks, you got. Well, I mean, you can include them or exclude them. You have a uh, two, four, six, eight, six, eight, ten, twelve, sixteen. Okay, so that's not. So that's like one less from the other two Mario's, but still very good, very good. <laughs> yeah. So, so most of the Mario's right now are actually very good. So, um. Builder boy over here, Bob the Builder, Builder Mario. Okay, so you got, oh dang, you got actually, okay, so you got four city tracks again, but that's fine, that's fine. You come to expect that with some, most characters that they will be on city tracks, whether top shelf or second shelf. Which I'm not gonna include second shelf because like you know you you're more interested in the top shelf. Okay, so you got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Wait, 14, and 18 if you get in level 6. Dang, that's good, that's good, that's very good. And hell, he's even on a variety of city tracks, so if you, if so, if you have him, then you obviously are prepared for the city tracks. Emery is also very good, it's kind of like a red shell, but it doesn't throw as, it's, it doesn't go as far, but it, the hitbox is a lot wider. So that's, that's also very good. Alright, so Chef Mario. Gordon Ramsay. It's a me, Gordon Ramsay. Alright, so you got. Fourteen. Well, only one Tokyo track, but the only one, but now it's only one. That's fine. There are positives and negatives for character to be on city tracks. And you get like eighteen. You get eighteen if you get into level six. Good. And Swimwear Mario, holy crap. This is like the one of the most valuable Marios in the game. With like... Uh, with like 14 and 18 if you get level 6. And Dash Ring is also very decent. So yeah, Mo all these Marios right now have been very good. Um, SNES Mario, only two city tracks. Um, but you got um, 6... 
got 13 and 17 if you have a little 6. With also triple mushrooms, like classic Mario. Again, very good. But here we have the second best Mario. At least item-wise. Giant Banana is very good, especially if you get him to level 4. And especially if you get this in a frenzy. So you got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 if you get him to level 6. Holy crap. Granted, there are city tracks, but he's on, like, almost all the city tracks. Or all the city tracks. So granted, if you are, you have Sunshine Mario, you will be prepared for the city tracks. So, yeah, there's positives and negatives to being on a city track. And, well, I mean, and, like, Sunshine Mario is the best and worst character for the city tracks. <laughs> okay. So, Halloween Mario, the most recent Mario. So, obviously, he's, he's not going to have that much. He has nine. 13 if you get him to level 6. So that's not that much, but he's relatively new. So, of course, it's understandable. Alright, so let's talk about these characters in ranked mode currently. Builder Mario is there. But if you have, like, all these other characters, then, yeah, it doesn't really matter. But here, this is where you may not have, like, say, Baby Peach Cherub. So you may need to pull for either... Uh, Sunshine, SNES, or Halloween Mario. And Mario's Circuit 2, you have a Chef, Classic, Happy, Swimmer, and Hakama. Hakama being the best option. So yeah, if you don't have uh, coverage for any of those tracks, or you um, or you think you may uh, want to get them leveled up, so you, you pulled, you, you might want to pull if you say don't, if you like, don't have a character high enough, and like they're like level one, and they're your only option. Then pull, and if you don't have a character for any of these tracks, definitely pull. And besides, all these characters, all six, all nine are like amazing. All of them are amazing. So yeah, I would say definitely pull. That's why I pulled because like damn, it's. Like, it, I mean, I didn't even think twice. I just like you know, I just knew that this pipe was already gonna be very good. And so I just did it. And I got two Marios. And besides, um, they're just good for, uh, for the future. Because, like, say they may not be valuable, valuable, like, right now. But that doesn't mean they won't be unvaluable, if that if even is a word, in the future. Like, say, Halloween Mario. I didn't have a character for, like, Mary Mountain Tea over here. And now I do. Or say, I don't know, you have, like, SNES Mario over here. Like, you didn't say you didn't have a Top Shelf character for, like, Remix Rainbow Road 1. Like, you didn't have, like, Happy Mario. And you didn't have SNES Mario. And you needed a Top Shelf character, but now you do. Same thing for all these other tracks. So, yeah, I would definitely say, pull. Now, yes, if you have all these characters, then... Maybe don't pull. Unless, of course, you want to get them leveled up. In which case, yes, sure. But if you don't want to get them leveled up and you already have all these characters, which I I have to give you props, then don't pull. Especially if you have them all level 6. But yes, definitely pull. Like, I mean, you kind of already knew that going into this video. I mean, come on. Nine Marios. You can get a chance to get all of them. They're not randomized. You can get all... All nine of them. With the 12%. So yeah. Um, there's there's no surprise here. Just pull. Unless of course you have all of them. Or have them all level 6. Or you don't need any of them. In which case do not pull. Though definitely. I mean even if you don't need them. Just definitely pull. Because like say for Swinware Mario for example. Just because, like, oh, I mean, he's very valuable, but say if you already have, like, a top shelf character for all these tracks, still pull because, like, you know, you, there's a chance that, you know, there's going to be a track in the future where Spinway Mario will be your only option, and you'll be thankful that you pulled from. So, yeah. Yes. It's definitely worth it, and definitely pull. Alright. See you guys in the next video. And, ah, uh, yes, I will be continuing my Xenoblade Chronicles, that's why. Like, Yesterday's video was kind of like just, you know, just be posting a meme. And I hope I didn't post cringe. Anyways, see you guys next time. Bye.